Hail and hello, everyone. Welcome to the Random Heathen Ramblings podcast, a Midgard Musings production. Join me, Jesse, your host, as we discuss random heathen-related topics and various other things in an attempt to find where, if any, heathen worldviews can be applied. You can support this podcast by clicking on the Linktree link in the description or show notes. You can also follow me on all of my social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and become a patron on Patreon. Join me every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Central on all major podcast streaming platforms, including Apple and Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, and many, many. If you wish to have your voice heard on the Random Heathen Ramblings podcast, you can dial in to 615-671-9832. Thank you all once again for listening to the Random Heathen Ramblings podcast. Enjoy and hail to you all. All righty. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good day. Um, So this one's going to be a bit of a different one. Because I was. uh, I was this close. To to not even putting a podcast out this week. For a number of reasons. Um, but that is neither here nor there. Um, this this podcast is is going to be a sort of response to some things that have been going on um, <clears throat> mostly online. Well, a hundred percent online, really. Um, with some some I don't even if you want to call them uh, accusations or speculations about some things, but um, I don't know. This is this is this is honestly, and and I'm just going to be straight up front with everybody listening and watching today. This is I did not want to do this. This goes against everything that I want to do. But I feel that I have, to some degree at least, some sort of uh, obligation. That may be a very strong term to use for what I'm talking about today, but I have a responsibility to address things um, in a public sector and in, in, in the public forum, uh, because in addition to being a pagan, in addition to being heathen, in addition to serving my heathen community in the role of chieftain, I have also um, a responsibility as a content creator to address the elephant in the room when it's the most unpleasant, even when I don't feel like it, you know, so it wouldn't be fair to my audience. Wouldn't be fair to, um, you know, people who have decided to engage with, uh, with my platform. It wouldn't be fair to all of you, regardless of how you support or listen or capture what I'm releasing, um, the content that I'm releasing. It would be unfair to all of you if I were to just, uh, you know, remain silent. So, you know, I'm here doing what I don't want to do. Um, 
but doing what I have to do. And uh, what we're going to be talking about on this podcast today, um, or I should say, I should be what I'm going to be addressing on this podcast today, um, are some again, I don't know, allegations, speculations, things that that just you know came up very recently um, from another heathen group here in the uh, Tennessee state and in, in, in the middle Tennessee area, specifically Nashville. So there's going to be a link in the description and show notes of this podcast to um, a post that I made on, on the Midgard Musings Facebook page. If you're not on Facebook, then I don't know, I guess you'll just have to take what I say um, as my word, because I'm going to be reciting some things that are written on that post, but I'm not going to be deleting this post. I'm going to be leaving things up because I want everybody who's already been engaged on this post and people who are going to be uh, engaged in the future on this post to be able to see what it is um, that I am talking about. I'm not going to be sharing any uh, visuals on things um, because I want people to go and see it for themselves. I don't want things to be misconstrued. Um, through digital platforms of, of, you know, abilities or inabilities to, I don't know, share stuff. Uh, but the post in question was posted um, earlier this week um, because it, there was, a, and it was a screenshot of someone and I, and, and I'm probably jumping ahead of myself here. Um, Let me back up. <laughs> let me back up. And let me preface everything that I'm about to say with a disclaimer of sorts. Okay. I understand that being a content creator, being a heathen content creator, uh, carries with it a degree of responsibility and a degree of um, you know, you are you are responsible for being very clear and transparency is important uh, so that people, when they absorb your content, when they, when they see what you're saying or hear what you're saying and see what you're doing, that they know where it is that you're coming from. And I've always prided myself in being very transparent. I've always prided myself in, in the last uh, five years or more of being on YouTube and being on Facebook and being on different platforms of, 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 of creating content, of sharing my thoughts, I've always prided myself in being transparent and that I've always stated in, in dozens, if not hundreds at this point, um, of previous videos that I, that my points of view, that my thoughts, that my things that I'm talking about are the, the thoughts and the, uh, you know the, the the visions, the 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 perceptions, the the ideas of just me. Okay, I do not come out here on this platform, wherever it is that you're absorbing this content from, whether it's audio, whether it's visual, whether it's wherever it is that you're capturing this. I do not come out on this platform or on these platforms to try and persuade people to think a certain way to follow a certain belief, to think the way that I think. If anything, I encourage people to think for themselves, to perhaps hear what I say, and use what I say to be a source of inspiration, to research things for themselves, and to find your own answers. Clearly, I have not said it enough, um, at least not recently, because there has been a grave misunderstanding um, with, with, with some things recently uh, as it pertains to the content that I create. So first and foremost, I do want to say that as I've said in multiple, like I say, dozens, if not hundreds of videos before, that I am not what I would refer to myself as a hardcore reconstructionist heathen. I am not a hardcore recon. 
I hold in very high regard and very high value the historical, archaeological, you know, source material, things that exist from eons, centuries bygone, right? Things that have made its way down through the millennia to reach our modern ears and eyes. I value those things because I feel like it gives us a, a, a baseline to work off of. But I do not reside in the past. I do not live in the past. As, as great as those times may have been and as valuable as the information and as the knowledge and as the material that we have from those eras are, I do not reside in the past. I live in the present and I live in the present to work for the future. And I do not want to see us regress as a species, as a society, as, a, as, as heathens, as pagans. I do not want to see us regress into old habits, old things. I understand and I, and I place a very high value on tradition. But as I have said countless times before, tradition is not the worship of ashes. It is the preservation of fire, and fire consumes, fire burns, fire ignites, fire illuminates, fire inspires, fire fuels, fire gives the necessary component to progress, and we have to be uh, progressive. Um, that is one thing that I want to say is I, I believe in uh, progression, and I believe in being uh, progressive which includes a lot of things now here in modern times, especially as modern heathens, because the world that we live in, the world that we as humans live in is such a different world than what our ancient ancestors, ancient heathens, elder heathens, arch heathens, whatever term you want to put to it. It's such a different world now than what it was back then, um, or at least to the degree that things are, are differently defined and identified now um, than they were back then. And in many ways, that is good. Because again, progression, right? Growth. We're not, we're not staying stagnant. We're not, we're not living in, in, we're not becoming so root bound that you know, we can't grow. Um. But one of the things that I absolutely um, abhor about modern times is this, you know, and, and it's ironic to say that I abhor it because I'm a part of it. I, I, I am a part of this social media thing, you know, where people are absorbing their information they are collecting their knowledge they are gathering information through social media content whether it's youtube whether it's facebook reels instagram reels tiktok okay and one of the scourges of that whole thing the whole social media thing is that what has become king what has become dominant in that whole arena is short form content. Short form content is king. All right. If you are a content creator to any degree, I don't care what your niche is, you have to stay up on things to otherwise you get buried in and lost in the progression of this so social media machine. The algorithm is constantly changing. What worked yesterday doesn't work today. What worked two hours ago doesn't work now. It's ridiculous. It's quite maddening, to be honest with you. Um, and as someone, as an individual, as, as me, as, as one person, as one heathen who is on social media, I can tell you that it is exhausting. It is tiring. It is ridiculous. It is, it is quite literally maddening to try to keep up with it all. 
and I'm speaking from my perspective. I'm I'm speaking from my approach to heathenry because at the end of the day, this whole social media thing, if 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 YouTube shuts down, if if Facebook shuts down, if Instagram and all that shuts down, I am fine. I don't care. I don't care about all of that but while it is up and running while while things are still going on right i'm trying the best that i can to stay relevant trying the best that i can to stay in the stream of all of the minutia and doing so in a way that is wholesome that is holistic that is beneficial for the greater community the world i am speaking to people from all walks of life from all points of the globe from all areas of of Midgard right but at the end of the day when I stop looking at my phone when I stop looking at my screen when I stop going into the digital realm I'm fine as a pagan I'm fine as a heathen because I have lived I continue to live I continue to breathe I continue to do things that reflect my heathenry my belief because that's what religion is. Religion, to believe in something. I don't care what you believe in, people. I don't care whether it's Celtic paganism. I don't care if it's Germanic paganism. I don't care if it's Hellenic. I don't care if it's Italic. I don't care if it's Slavic. I don't care if you're Christian, Hindu, Buz, uh, uh, Buddhist, Muslim. I don't care. Whatever it is that you believe in, whatever your religion is, whatever your uh, you know, folkway, I don't, you know, whatever term you want to put to it is, if you believe in something, then you should, the word believe, be alive. Live it, breathe it, walk it, speak it, do it. Hail the doers. Be alive in it. And that is what I am at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I am alive in this. I don't post my content. I don't share parts of my life with you all for my own satisfaction, for, for my own gratification. I share it because it means something to me, and I hope that it's an inspiration for you to find meaning and purpose. Whether you're a brand new heathen, whether you're a brand new anything, you stumble across my content wherever you find it. I hope that it it inspires and it sparks something in you to find purpose and to be alive in what you adhere to. Even if you don't adhere to anything, even if you're atheist or agnostic, even if you just don't know, maybe you see somebody, whether it's me, whether it's whoever, doing something, being something, living something, and it sparks an interest. It 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 gives you some sort of reason to explore further, investigate. So that's a big disclaimer, right? It's a big disclaimer um, in a way, and it's a long drawn out thing. But the post that I um, am referring to, and, and this all goes back to some recent content that I posted, short form content, right? Short form content, like I mentioned before, is king. People just don't want to sit down and listen to a presentation. They don't want to hear a long form content. And I'm not saying everybody's this way, but I'm saying most people. If you're trying to engage noise, if you're trying to capture noise, if you're trying to bring in people to learn more about things, you have to be engaging within the first three seconds, people. Three seconds. Do you understand that I fart longer than three seconds sometimes? I take a piss that's longer than three seconds. How ridiculous have we as a society, have we as a species become that it takes us three seconds to make a determination of whether we like something or not? How shallow have we become as a species that it takes literally three seconds for us to, to determine whether we like it or not and that we don't, you know, whether we're going to scroll away find something else more interesting or not. It's pathetic. It's pitiful. And it's the one thing that I absolutely abhor and detest about us as a species, that we have become so shallow, that we have become so desensitized to stimulating things 
that a person, another living, breathing being, has to try to find a way to capture the attention of another living, breathing being within as much time as it takes to belch, burp, blink. It's ridiculous. It's abhorrent. I hate it. So again, it's ironic that I'm out here doing this sort of stuff because I hate it so much. But I, you know what? Here I am. Here I am doing it for however long. Much longer, I don't know. But the short, the short form content that I'm referring to that has recently caught attention uh, is 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 my content regarding the nine noble virtues, right? And I made a post on Facebook saying that there was a group, a certain, a certain group of Nashville heathens. I didn't say anybody specific. I didn't name a group. I didn't tag a group. I didn't say anything specific to, to call anybody out. I said a certain group of Nashville heathens blindly removed me from their group. Right, may seem like, oh, it's a big deal. I'm so mad about it. Guess what? I'm not. Why am I not mad about it? It's because of the thing. It's because of the things that I just said within the last, you know, 15 minutes of me word vomiting everything out that I just that I just said. At the end of the day, all of this could come crashing down. Midgard musings, the Middle Tennessee Heathens Facebook page, um, all of it could come crashing down, and I could give two shits less. And that is the that is the honest truth because I'm living it here. I'm living it with people who I actually value as my family, as my kin. I don't need the social media to experience that. All of this other stuff, it's trappings, it's bells and whistles. It's fun. It's exciting. I, I, it, you know, it's engaging. There's opportunity here. There's all of that. But at the end of the day, if it were to just, get all shut off if the switch got flipped and we're done with it all jesse over here is going to be just fine with it and i hope you all are too don't invest so much into this social media charade that you lose sight of the grassroots importance okay the grassroots necessity of developing building Nurturing your own communities. So anyway, the post is going to be linked in the you know description and show notes of this podcast. Please check it out on Facebook. The response from someone, and again, I'm not going to go into names. I'm not going to describe. I'm not going to name names because it's all here. It's all out here. I'm not deleting anything. I'm not removing anything. I'm, I'm not editing anything. I'm responding to a very well presented um, reply to a post that I made, which says, "Before you, before my, before your slander campaign gets any more engagement, first and foremost, let me just say this was not ever a slander campaign. I know I said things in my post that said." Um, this is, you know, a screenshot of what somebody said. No names were shared. It was redacted. Nothing was revealed as far as who said it. But I said, this is all that I will share for now, and there will be much more to come soon, so stay tuned. Never once at any point in time was this intended to be a slander campaign, and it hurts my heart in more ways than one that I am here talking about this. Because like I mentioned at the beginning of this, I did not want to do this. I fought myself to sit here in front of this camera and talk to people about all of this. But I felt that I had a responsibility to do so. So this was never, in any sense of the word, meant to be a slander campaign. Um. So anyway, this person calls himself out as, as being the, the, the facilitator of the Nashville Heathens group in question. There is a Nashville Heathens group on Facebook, okay? 
the purpose of this group was started to be a friendly place or a sorry safe place don't want to misconstrue words a safe place for all heathens to come that includes lgbtq uh bipoc and others wonderful glad to hear it this is what middle tennessee heathens is about is to be a safe place for everyone of all walks of life regardless of your race uh gender identification sexuality any of that sort of thing there is nobody in my inner circle tribe that has bad things to say or has negative things to say about those that are uh lgbtq bipoc whatever matter of fact myself included everyone my wife everyone in our inner circle have dear friends family members loved ones who fall under these categories so middle tennessee heathens and midgard musings as a whole has always been and will always be a place for folk to feel welcome to feel loved to feel accepted regardless of your race gender identification sexual identification or anything else it is none of our places okay it is none of our places to question any of these sorts of things or to defy any of these sorts of things all right so let's just get that out of the way they create this group after being here for x amount of years they weren't happy with the other communities so you make your own thing i've i've i have said this multiple way, multiple times and in multiple uh ways is that if you can't find something to be a part of then make something to be a part of if you can't find a way then make a way right if you can't adhere or 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 or, or connect yourself with a group or some or, or something then then make your own bravo right good that you've done this you made your own way if you build it they will come is referenced here right it's a field of dreams quote but it's also there's more truth to poetry there is more truth than poetry to that statement if you build it they will come I firmly believe that I have advocated for that others have advocated for that if you can't find a way then make one and you have done this and that's good on you the main priority is helping people understand where information and heathen beliefs come from so they can make informed decisions about their craft free from fascist rhetoric all right so here's where it gets into the whole thing about I guess the NNV I posted this because I was advised a month after the fact that I was potentially being spoken about behind my back behind my digital back I guess you could say I don't know but so I made this post and I was like wow you know I I the, these people I actually met these people I've sat and I've had meals or sorry a meal with these people who are part of this group had what I thought to be meaningful conversation thought them to be worth the time to to be you know friends with and and and, and build a community with and all that you know, so I get told that, you know, I'm, I'm no longer in this group by a friend, by a, not just a friend, but a brother of mine. Okay, so um, someone who is is entrusted to me and, and who is kin to me said, hey, by the way, did you know? And I said, no, I didn't, you know, and that's what kind of sparked this whole thing. You know, so then I get, I get to what the, the reasons why why i was removed number one there is a uh quote unquote self-promotion uh day of the week rule and i broke this several times by sharing my content too frequently and i will just say that in 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 response to this um I will accept ownership of that. I also will say that myself, as well as probably everybody else, when they join groups, agree to group rules and neglect to actually analyze the group rules. And so there, people are going to make mistakes. You know what I mean? People are going to um, 
break the rules. And if anybody out here on, on social media uh, moderates or administrates a, 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 a public group or a private group of any sort, you are absolutely entitled to in, enforce the rules of your group to whatever degree that you see fit. That is your virtual hall, and it is therefore your call, right? I just would like to say that um, it was not my intention to knowingly breach group rules. It was not a uh, nefarious attempt on my part to try to overshare or gain new followers or anything like that. I was simply trying to um, spread the word, you know, like I do and in, in, in so many others. And it has this particular thing has caused me to reevaluate my approach on that sort of thing. Um, so I do accept ownership of that. Um, and I will not say that I was, uh, and I will say, I should say that I was remiss in not following closely or, or being more uh, in, in adherence to those rules. So I will definitely accept ownership of that. And for that, I apologize. Um, in regards to the NNV or the Nine Noble Virtues videos that I have shared, someone already commented on this thread uh, that that short form is not the way to go. I am, sorry for the noise, I am becoming more and more aware that my approach to sharing this form of content in the way that I was trying to do so in short form content was uh, and, and, and has, you know, kind of backfired. I approach this in a way that, hey, you know, this is there is enough information that I can blurb it out in a one minute long reel or one minute long short, you know, that will at least give people something to think about and something to chew on. Um, to their point, did you know that it only takes three seconds for someone to decide to watch or not? I absolutely do. I am a content creator. I know that it takes three seconds. I already alluded to this before, and I think how stupid and ridiculous that is. But yeah, that is that is abhorrible. It's it's detestable. I think that us as a species and us as 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 a as as as, as a society have regressed into it as a just detestable state that it takes literally the amount of time for me to expel bodily fluids or gas. All right, it takes the same amount of time to do that as it, as it does for us to decide whether we're interested in content or not. That's ridiculous. That's, that's shame on us. All right, so imagine how a younger or newer heathen would be seeing that and then being so confused to learn that the enemy were founded by Nazis. Once again, I have posted long-form content that is now four years old with over a 1,000 views and short-form content that clearly and explicitly states my views on what the NNV or any sort of codified attempt to codify heathenry is. All right? The NNV, Nine Noble Virtues were codified by the English Odenic Rite, a fascist organization, which I absolutely abhor. Okay. For the record, Midgard Musings, myself, have signed Declaration 127. I've also signed the Declaration of Deeds. Just to be safe, just to make sure that people know that if they see Midgard Musings' names on any sort of these things, that they know where I stand on things. This has been ongoing for probably decades now, and it's probably going to be ongoing for, for, for decades more. It's tiresome. It's, re, it's, it's the fact that we have to keep repeating the same stories over and over again is burdensome, but I understand why we have to keep doing it. It just sucks. Fuck Nazis. There's my F-bomb for the episode. I usually keep this family friendly. I try not to drop... Um, Harsh profanity. This video will probably get demonetized. I don't care. Fuck Nazis. There you go. Yeah, because it does. It doesn't matter if your intention was set in the first video because no one's going to go back to watch that. Well, who's that on? Nobody's going to go back to actually research the content creator. Nobody's going to. No. So you're telling me that somebody's going to take three seconds, draw an opinion, 
listen to a one minute long blurb about something and then draw their conclusions based off of that instead of going and furthering researching the rest of it all, shame on them is what I say because I put it out there. I've said it. If you're not finding it, if you're not looking for it, then shame on you for not having to have having done so. Number three, other members of our group do not feel safe with me. Look, that 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 that's a low blow. All right. And I don't want to be liked by everybody. I don't have to be liked by everybody. I approach this in my professional sector as well. My job is to not be liked. My job is to do whatever my job is to do. And I expect that I will not be liked by everybody. Hell, my wife doesn't even like me half the time, but she loves me, right? So to the response or my response that other members of the group do not feel safe with me, I've only met, to my knowledge, three members of that group, okay? Three, maybe four members of that group one time. People integrate with other online Facebook groups, right? So again, I don't know if I've met more. Um, but the fact that they don't feel safe with me, okay, it's it's different to not like somebody than to not feel safe with them. I don't like a lot of things or like a lot of people, but the safety thing is 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 what really kind of strikes a nerve with me. I've been entrusted with a lot and I've given my trust to others and we have shared in that reciprocation of trust in ways that transcend online and social media interactions. So my response to that would be then if you don't feel safe, then um, we're just not the type of people that are meant to mesh plain and simple. And that's okay. It's okay to not get along with everybody. And that's okay to not like certain people. Um, but the whole safety thing, um, I understand that you removed me from the group to look out for the best interest of your members and to make them feel safe. I respect that. Um, and I have no more else, you know, to say on that, on that topic. Um, there's a, there's mention of the cloak of an anonymity and being cowardly. Um, listen, um, and, and there's a there's a there's a comment since when were uh, digital boundaries cowardly? I know where I was coming from when I said that, and I was coming from a perspective of well, your rule said that if you're going to ban somebody, you're going to talk to them first, and then I get banned blind blindly banned from a group and, and and then have mention of me, you know, talked about in, in other places. And I was like, that, that seems kind of cowardly. Like you wouldn't come to me and talk to me about this first, or at least address your concerns to me first and foremost, because guess what? Maybe I missed something. Maybe I overlooked again, the rules. Maybe I was just like, Oh, cool. I'm in this group. There's other natural heathens. I met these people before we share a common thing, right? My bad. I, I overlooked the rules. I, I I misread or I or I didn't even acknowledge them in in the way that I should have, and I took ownership of that already. It would have been fine to just talk it through and 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 address it that way. Um, but again, your group, your hall, your virtual hall, your call, and you do what you uh, deem best um, for the safety and benefit of the people who you are closest to, and I have no qualms with that. Um, my content was, was flooding their feed. It's not their cup of tea. And I was blocked. Um, and I, I was not going to be allowed to disrupt the person's mental health because I'm mad that I got deleted. I'm not mad. Okay. I'm not mad. I, I was, I, 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 I said what I said in, in, in reaction as a way of like, what the, what the F, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, why? I thought we were cool. Like, at least on the surface, I thought things were okay. I thought, we met, we talked, we we seemed to get along. This came as a shock. 
and I reacted as such. And I regret the way that I reacted, but I'm not mad about it. I'm definitely not mad about it because as I mentioned earlier in the episode, if everything were to just crash and burn right now, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I am not most upset about it. Trying to slander a small local group, guys. I, this is the furthest thing that I've ever been a part of. All right. Anybody that's followed Midgard Musings, anyone that's been my friend for any length of time knows that slander, that, that getting into the drama of online bickering is the last thing. The absolute last thing. And if it's the last thing, then it's the last, last thing that I ever want to be a part of. I purposely didn't even include names or mention of people in my post. I just said, hey, this is this is whack, man. Like, it, it, again, it, it, if I had to go back, if I had, you know, if I had to go back and do anything again, this wouldn't be it. Because clearly things have gotten blown into a proportion that I'm having to, you know, address in a way. But trying to slander a small group, guys, I don't want to slander anybody. I want you guys to be productive and progressive in the ways that suit you guys. And if Middle Tennessee Heathens, if Midgard Musings, if my stuff is not it, fine. Fine. Then it's your thing. Then and, and you figure it out. Again, find a way or make one. You know, it's not an ego fit. I can I can assure everybody there, there there's mention of that I was having an ego fit about not being able to promote my post. Let's listen here and let's just get real. If I if my posts don't reach 50 some odd people in Nashville, again, if that was even anything that I cared about, if it was analytically driven, which it's not, that ain't it, bro. Like that ain't it. I mean, come on. <laughs> I, I I'm I'm sorry, but that's an ego fit because I can't share information to a group of 50 some odd people. I'm sorry, but that's no, no. <laughs> Again, like they say, if, you know, if, if people want to find my content, it's all out here. You hear about it in the, every intro of my podcast, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you know, your sister's ass, Google, I don't know, wherever, just anywhere. Like you've, Google Midgard Musings, you're going to find something somewhere about me, all right? I was just trying to share pe things to people who are in my respective area, geographically. Again, without intentionally trying to infringe on or break rules of groups. Again, my apologies for doing so. That was an oversight, and I take ownership of that. Next question, why didn't I reach out? Um, to about about being kicked, or why wasn't I reached out to about being kicked? Because they knew that I would try to use what little traction I had to make them look like the bad guys. Anyway, I am sorry that you feel that way. I am very sorry that you feel that way because that is absolutely not my intention. Never has been my intention. Never would have been my intention. That is very assumptive. I talk this way as I would face to face. So if you're watching this right now, let it be known that had you come to me, had you spoken to me openly, you speak of transparency, that I would have listened to what you have would have had to say, adjusted my approach to be more in line with the rules of engagement of your respective group. Again, I made a mistake, took ownership of it. I would have been happy and glad to have been approached as an adult about it. There would have been no efforts, no interest on my part to make people look bad. Again, anybody that's been following me for any length of time, friends, family, supporters, subscribers, whatever you are, whoever you are, this isn't me. That's not me. I'm not trying to bash people out here unless you're like 
literally trying to, you know, promote hate speech and all this other kind of racist BS. I'll call you out on that. But I'm not about trying to make you out to be the bad guy just because I'm mad about you banning me from your group. Come on, guys. I mean, look, I'm not in high school anymore. I'm almost 40 years old. I can be approached like an adult, you know. There's mention of my wife getting involved and that I had some sort of sway in that. Listen, my wife is very protective over myself and over the very, very small inner circle tribe that she is a part of, our friends included. So when things get seen that seem to be or, or perceived to be, at least on the surface, as an attack or as any sort of nefarious degradation or anything like that, Again, whatever the intent was, whatever the drive behind it was, what it was perceived as, there, there's a lot to learn here, okay? And and rest assured, there's, there's efforts being made on my end to help clear up and, and, and better understand how people feel, how people react, because the last thing that I want to be done is myself or any of the people who I have within my inner circle, tribe, to be um, misunderstood and have their reputations be tarnished because as heathens, our reputation is paramount and our reputations are everything. And so this is, again, one of the reasons why I'm here is to defend, in a way, my reputation and to take ownership and acknowledgement of where things could have been done differently and handled better where we shouldn't have said certain things, where we shouldn't have done certain things, right? It's a, it's a declaration of ownership. It's a declaration. There's transparency here. First of all, I never sent my wife in to do anything. That was 100% her initiative to defend the man that she loves, right? And it was done out of the purest of intentions. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about things, but just rest assured that there's a lot to be learned from here. There's a lot of opportunity that was identified here. They do um, indicate that, you know, we met at a pagan meeting. Yeah, a Middle Tennessee heathens meeting that I organized. 20 some odd people showed up, came with new things to share, came with what we learned from our mentor, who wrote 30 books on runes and is a Scandi Scandinavian native whose tutelage links back to Snorri. That's great. Glad that that person has that sort of lineage to be able to draw from. I personally don't. I have my, um, my experience, my, my, my learnings, and I can't say that I have, you know, Scandinavian ancestry that in, 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 in learnings that, uh, you know, date back to, you know, 1000 AD, but great. That's a flex, I guess. I don't know. You came excited to meet people. I was excited to have people come. That's what Middle Tennessee Heathens is about. That's what meetups are about, is networking, right? All we got were weird vibes from you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I don't know what else to say other than I'm sorry. Because I've hung out with people more than just the two hours that it took to share a meal, more than it took for us to just talk, more than it took for us to just hang out. You got to understand, guys, one meetup, one park moot, one pub moot, one whatever it is. It goes back to the whole short form content thing. If that's going to be the thing that you draw your conclusions on. I mean, first impressions are lasting ones. I get that. I totally understand that. And, you know, a lot of times those first impressions are the, the foundation at which, you know, we, we, we base our future engagements on people with. So I don't, I don't want to say that, you know, your first impressions were things that you should have shrugged off. But I am sorry. I'm sorry that you got weird vibes from me. I don't know what that means. 
I am weird. You're weird. We're all weird. The world is weird. We've got to be weird to be in this world, guys. At least a little bit. So I don't know what weird vibes you're talking about, um, but apparently they were vibes that made other people not feel safe. Is what it is, right? I don't, I, I don't know how to respond to that other than I'm sorry that you felt that way. Um, I Again, I, I've spent much longer periods of time with other people and have developed relationships of kinship and bonds of kinship with people because of spending more time with them. Um, and again, you know, we don't have to all get along. We don't have to all like each other. We don't have to all be a part of each other, uh, groups. Maybe this is just a, a clear example of that. Um, the fact that this is all happening while different pagan creators are hosting a Yule market and you are not a part of it is really telling. Um, I'm busy. I've got other things going on, and I ain't got time for your Yule market. Congratulations. Have a great time. I hope it all really goes well, but I ain't got time for it. And it's not, I don't know what 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 is telling of it. I've got other things going on. I got I got a wedding I have to officiate next month or to, in, in two months. I've got my own tribe's Yule thing. I've got a new member to worth in. I've got all other kinds of things going on. It's nothing personal, but it ain't telling. It's telling because you don't know the details about things behind the scenes. Just like I don't know details about things behind the scenes with all of you. That's okay. That's cool. I don't know what that means as far as this is really telling that you're a bacon content creator and you're not part of the Yule market. Yeah, I got other things going on that are more important to my inner circle tribe. So there you go. Um, as I mentioned before, right, because as you see, people aren't always going to vibe with or agree with and like you. And that's life. 100% agreed. That is life. Right. Um, there's a paragraph there. You guys can read it. I hope you choose to use your energy to make a different video and continue building your own community rather than make this a further pissing contest. As I mentioned earlier in this video, this is not in any sort of way, never has been a way to be a slander campaign. This isn't a pissing contest. I don't care how big your heathen cock is. All right. And I'm getting visceral. I'm getting a bit, you know, R rated maybe with with some of the things that I'm saying. But guys, look, I don't again at the end of the day, if all of this crashed down, if my podcast never made another episode after today. I don't care. I don't care. You want to know why I don't care? It's because I've established relationships with people at the grassroots level. I have lived a life and I continue to live a life that reflects my heathenry with people that share the same or similar, not the exact same, because I don't want people to think the same way as I do, that share similar values, that share similar worldviews, that want to accomplish similar things that align with me well enough, that align with each other well enough, that we're able to coexist Holistically, I talked about this in the last week's podcast about the fire on the mountain in North Carolina. That shit doesn't happen just by having conversations on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, wherever. It doesn't happen that way. It happens by real time existing with people, real time living with people making the effort, going the distance, doing the thing. That's where my heathen relies. My heathen relies at the grassroots, in the grassroots, in the earth that I connect to daily with my feet. It exists in the river that I live nearby and walk in all the time. It exists in the air that I breathe 
that I require to live physically, it exists in the fire that inspires, that ignites, that burns, that consumes, that illuminates. You know, it exists in the water that cleanses. It exists in the, the earth that grounds. It exists all around me and, into the, and, and to the degree that none of this, after I talk about this today, this is the last time, this is the last time, hopefully, that I have to come out here and do something that I don't want to do. Because I know there's plenty of people out here that, that look forward to content that I put out here. And I appreciate all of you. I appreciate those that support what I do. I do. But at the end of the day, you are not the ones that drive why I do what I do. I do what I do because it's part of me. It's part of my life. It's part of my heart. It's part of my souls. It's everything within me. I just choose to share it to the world, to the greater population. And so if I don't get to do that anymore, I'm no, I have not lost anything. I have everything that I need here in my heart, in my hearth, in my home, with my people, with my tribe. And that's what I want for all of you. That's all that I want. And it's all that I've ever wanted for all of you. The Nine Noble Virtues videos were done as a way to engage conversation because what I've done is I've taken these words, these buzz words that were appropriated and codified by a fascist, fucking racist, Nazi piece of shit organization in England once, once upon a fucking time. You know? I've taken, I've taken those words. I've gone back etymologically. I've talked about them individually in a way within one minute, within 60 seconds to try to give you guys something to think about, something to explore, something to perhaps apply. And our sorry ass state of humanity wants to cancel it because I didn't mention it in every video that the nine noble virtues were codified or created or whatever by the English of Denic Wright. Guys, I'm tired. I'm tired to have to have these conversations. I'm tired to be in a position to feel responsible to have to have these conversations. It's just another ordeal, right? After today, all right, that post that goes up, I will not speak any more on it. I will not comment any more on it. I will not reply to any more messages. I will not reply to any more comments. Moving on. I'm moving on. So you guys have fun with it. Have fun in the comments. The post is uh, annotated in the description and show notes of this podcast. I'm not going to be responding to things. Have fun with it. You guys have heard my thoughts. And to the people that have reached out, posted their comment, messaged my page, messaged my personal profile with the same thing that I just ran down through over within the last hour or so. Um, there it is. I'm going to go on living my life. I'm going to go on living my heathenry with the people who I know bring value to it. Because the last hour that I just spent doing all this, 
ain't it? So thank you all for listening. Thank you all for watching. If you want to support Midgard Musings anymore, you know where to find it. It's in the description and show notes of this podcast. And if anything that I said chapped your ass and you don't like it anymore, you know how to unfollow me. So we'll see where this goes from here on out. But I'll be here. May the gods continue to notice you. And may your ancestors smile upon you. <laughs>